Hello and welcome to Hustery episode two. How are we doing on this uh, fine day? I'm filming this on a Monday, uh, a Monday afternoon. I've downloaded Game of Thrones for anyone con uh, comments on my top. I've downloaded Game of Thrones. I can't watch it until my partner comes back from work. So I'm trying to avoid the internet that is dark and full of spoilers and um we will watch the end later but i'm aware winter has come uh been and gone and um, by the time you watch this we'll all know we'll all know who who wins so today's episode brought a little friend this is this is scruffy this is my 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 rescue pup who i love who's my bestest friend in the whole wide world and um the reason he's joining me on this episode is because Scruffy is a Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu. Um, originally from Tibet. He's not from Tibet. He's from Hemel Hempstead. But originally from Tibet, these dogs were bred to be companions and lap dogs of Chinese emperors. So uh, who better to bring along on this journey to tell you all about Mulan? The real Mulan, not Disney Mulan. Though I love Disney Mulan. Let's just put that out there. Mulan, Megara, Ariel. They're my favourite Disney princesses. Can you tell? Um, Mulan, probably my favourite. Come here, bud. Get comfy. Oh, so shit. Um... So yeah, I'm going to talk to you about Mulan today. Um, it's going to be significantly shorter <laughs> than my last few videos. Uh, my last video, because uh, I knew Elizabeth I was going to be a long one. So I'm going to keep this one a short one. So here we go. I've got my little notes. They're only a page. Cracking. Let's get started. So, uh, Hua Mulan. Hua means flower. Mulan means magnolia. That's a little bit of trivia for you. Hua Mulan is a legendary... Sorry, he sniffles and snores. He might start snoring, but that's fine. You're just you're just commenting, aren't you? Or you're narrating. It's fine. Just adding his reactions. <gasps> no, yes, good boy. Right. Um, she's a legendary Chinese warrior from the Northern and Southern Dynasties period, which is four twenty to five eight nine A.D. A very long time ago. Like one and a half thousand years ago long times um she's actually we don't actually know if she's a real person she's uh she's a folk story she's a a myth a legend was she real we we don't know um there's a bit of a controversial topic for her story episode two but i'm going there because i like to think she's real makes me happy to think she's real so um her story is told in the ballad of mulan which is first transcribed in the sixth century um and it follows a fairly similar vein to the disney film so um the chinese are at war with in this case roran invaders who are turkish pre-mongol uh, unknown origin from that area kind of state and uh, a man from each family is called up to serve in the army to defend china and mulan's father is very old and weak and her brother she has a brother they missed that out in the series series film her brother is um very young he's just a little boy so she takes their place and goes with her parents' support, which I know because one of my favourite scenes in the film is where, with the music, do, 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 where she cuts all her hair off and she rides the horse off and it, it gives me chills. But yeah, apparently mum and dad were all for it. Um, I know, shocker. 
She's already skilled in fighting and swordsmanship and archery and martial arts uh, before she enlists. Yeah, I know, not so much. Let's get down to business. Um, she's, she's already pretty badass. Um, she fights for 12 years. I know, 12 years. Um, the army returns. She's offered a an official post as a general as a reward by the Emperor of China. She refuses, reveals herself, and all her comrades are extremely shocked that she has a vagina. That's the basic storyline. So, she doesn't have a little dragon friend. She may have had a shih tzu. I, I don't know. Um... Yeah, she doesn't have a little dragon friend. Her parents know about her going. She's got a little brother. Um, I'd like to think the ancestors are there cheering her on, though. That would, that would bring me joy. Um, and then this that, that's the basis of the story. And then this story develops throughout history. So in 1675, you have Chu Ren Huo. I hope I'm saying that right. I deeply apologise if anyone's watching this. Because my translation is going to be horrible. Um, who writes the romance of Sui and Tang. And this is the alternate version with a really tragic ending. Which, fortunately, is only seen in this version. So, it's okay. Um, so, Mulan enlists. And on the way to camp, she is intercepted um by the forces of the Xia king's warrior daughter xianyang xianyang who discovers mulan is a female and they become sworn sisters like yeah let, we're gonna do this together this fighting stuff um xianyang's father is eventually vanquished and the two sisters surrender themselves to be executed in his place. Because they're BFFs. Uh, this brave act, it wins a reprieve from the Emperor of Tang. And he bestows money to the women for weddings and such other feminine things. Uh, Mulan is given leave to travel back home. When she gets back home, uh, she finds out that her dad is dead. Her mum has remarried a man who isn't very nice. And the Emperor Khan of the Turkish Mongol unknown origin state, um, the bad guy, um, has, has heard all about her and her military prowess and her act of bravery and summons her to become a concubine. Yeah. And rather than suffer this fate, she commits suicide. I prefer the other version, personally. Um, her love affair um, comes a lot later. It's a later edition. And uh, she falls in love with an officer called Jin Yong. That is his name. But I'm quite content for her to have a story without a lover. Because girl power, you know. Um... I think there's always this tendency to want to pair people up. The hero has to have a heroine and the heroine has to have a hero. But um, that's not really the case. Um, and if she was trying to convince everyone that she was male, she probably wouldn't be trying to hook up with anybody because as soon as somebody finds out she's female, she's dead. So um, there's that. Um so obviously the Disney film comes out in 1998 and that's the first time I hear about Mulan. Um, I will never forget sitting at the cinema with my mum watching that scene where all of the horses of, in this case the Huns, are the enemy army, uh, come down over that mountain edge, down that snowy mountain pass. And um, yeah, that was quite the cinematic experience for little eight-year-old me. Um, that was very, very impressive. And um, I, I've loved her and looked into her story ever since then. You'll be pleased to know Disney on this live action remake trail that they're going at the moment. They are doing a live action version of Mulan in 2020. So never fear. 
Um, but I'm surprised that there aren't more films about Mulan, to be honest with you. Um, very, very surprised. It's thought that um, her story is based on Princess Ping, Ping Yang, Ping Yang, uh, who lived in the 6th century and raised troops to help her father to seize the throne of China and establish the Tang Dynasty. She died only a few years later and she was given a full military funeral with full military honours and um, when members of her court, uh, members of the court sort of protested uh, about that and said why is this woman being given a military funeral, her father said that she was no ordinary woman. So perhaps Mulan is based on her, perhaps Mulan was real, perhaps Mulan wasn't real but uh, me and Scruffy would like to think that she was or well, there's some kernel of truth in it um so yeah she didn't save china that whole thing on top of the palace with the fireworks that didn't happen there was no mushu but still an incredible story and uh, a very brave very brave woman and um, someone whose story, whether true or not, deserves to be told. So that is... Oh, a fun fact! Fun fact! The Hua Mulan crater on Venus is named after her. So that's pretty cool. I'd quite like to have my own crater on Venus. That'd be pretty rocking. So there we go. Hua Mulan, episode two. And I've managed to keep it under 15 minutes. I'm doing a good job of not rambling. Um, see you again next week for another episode of Herstory. I may or may not bring Scruffy. Um, let me know in the comments below whether you'd like him to join me. He's not really done very much this episode. Um, he's just falling asleep. But he is 13, so... Does like his sleeping... Anyway, I'm going to go and kill some time before Darren gets back and I can watch Game of Thrones and we know how it all ends. I'm not ready for it to be over. Anyway, that's another topic for another day. Mwah. Love to you all. I hope you have enjoyed Mulan. Uh, comments in the comments section with who you would like to see on the next edition of Herstory. Oh, now you wake up. Now you wake up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye.